Good morning. Welcome to Pike's webinar on spectral electrochemistry. We have a special guest today, Ian Burgess. Ian's a professor in chemistry department at the University of Saskatchewan in Saskatoon, Canada, and he's also a founding member of the Jackfish SEC. Over the past dozen years, uh, Ian's research team has been optimizing an electrochemistry cell for ATR Sierra's experiments using the Pike VMAX as um, its optical platform. And this cell that they developed uh, is called the Jackfish. So over the past couple years, the Jackfish team has taught me a lot about electrochemistry and they're so willing to share their expertise. So because of their efforts, they've really brought a valuable commercial product to the market. So I'm very excited to have Ian with us today. I've been looking forward to this webinar for a couple of weeks now. So before I turn it over to Ian, just a couple of housekeeping businesses. We're gonna hold all the questions until the end. Ian has a, one of his Jackfish partners um, monitoring the questions so during the webinar. So you can submit those at any time. Ian Burgess will address them or Ian Anvag will address them during the webinar. So at this point, I'd like to turn it over to Ian. Thank you for joining us this morning. Oh, my pleasure. Thanks very much, Jenny, for giving me this opportunity. And uh, today um, I'm going to present some stuff uh, related to getting the most from your electrochemical ATR CRS experiments. Uh, so if I can just toggle through the screen. So there's Jenny's picture, there's my picture. And I'll just go to my own title slide and jump right in with an outline of today's webinar. So I'm going to begin with talking a little bit uh, generally about infrared spectroelectrochemistry. And I'll just sort of describe the differences between so-called internal reflection-based techniques and external reflection-based techniques. And then I'll talk a little bit about some examples of ATR CRAS applications. And then the majority of today's talk will be really spent uh, designing uh, key aspects related to designing and optimizing your electrochemical ATR CRAS experiment. So let's start with a little bit of an introduction to two types of spectra, infrared spectroelectrochemistry. Uh, one of the, uh, I would say, uh, more um, early uh, adaptations of spectroelectrochemistry in the infrared was the so-called external reflection uh, technique. In this technique, you're using an infrared transparent window of, of relatively low refractive index. So something with a high IR transparency, such as calcium chloride. 